All right. Um, for this video, we're going to be looking at uh, fractions. And these are straight from Math Playground, fraction of uh, set C in the fraction section of Math Playground. And the last one I put on is extra credit. On this one, it will be actually be on the test. So I'm going to go about solving these in two steps. Um, the food factory served 60 customers yesterday. So let's represent that 60 customers. I'm going to resize the blocks here and make them larger. And let's let this whole thing here represent our whole. And this is our 60 customers. So I'm going to label that 60 customers. Now, two thirds of the customers ordered breakfast. So if two thirds ordered breakfast, let me, that means I'm going to break this into three parts. And two of the three parts ordered breakfast. So two thirds ordered breakfast, which means one third did not order breakfast. So if I kind of represented this here, that two thirds, this would be like our breakfast people. So that last one third was no breakfast. Now, it, it says here that half of the remaining customers order takeout. So what I'm going to do here, um, if you had 60 divided into three parts, you should recognize 60 divided by 3 is 20. So each of these blocks represents 20. And I'm just going to add these in. And this is a step that you all know to do right off the bat. So that means 40 ordered breakfast, 20 did not order breakfast. It says half of the remaining customers ordered takeout. So I'm going to actually just put this down here. These are my no breakfast people. And I'm going to make them, uh, let's make them pink. I just changed the color right there. So this is my 20 people. That's like my no breakfast people. Half of them order takeout. So I'm going to just divide this in half. The rest order lunch. So if half order takeout, that means that whole thing now is a 20 because those are the 20 no breakfast people. Then 10 ordered um, takeout and then 10 ordered lunch, which was the answer to the question. What I did is I took this and I made a new model. We have that one third, and then so I put these one third down, down here, and that's 20 total, and I broke it into half, which is 10 and 10. So 10 ordered lunch, that's the answer to the question. Um, remember to pause it, even if I don't tell you to do that, um, I want you to. I'm going to right now reset the board, and I'm going to put another problem up here. I'm going to write my own problem this time. You can still solve it using blocks. I'm going to say Aaron bought an assortment of pencils. Two-thirds of the pencils were orange. Um, Four-fifths of the remaining pencils were yellow. And there were two green pencils. How many pencils were there altogether? So usually I have you start and draw the hole. In this case, actually, we don't know what the hole is. But I'm, I'm going to put this out. And let me make this pretty large. We don't know what the hole is. So let me just throw that up there. And I'm going to put a little question mark, because we don't know what that whole thing is equal to. That's what it's asking altogether. Now, 2 thirds of the pencils were orange. So let me divide this into three equal parts. 2 thirds of them were orange. So 
Let me see if I can just change the color of just this bar and hit orange. Oh, that didn't work. Two thirds were orange. So let me make this onto two of those three parts. And two of these three parts were our orange. That means one third were not orange. I want you to go ahead and, and solve this problem. Remember, you should be hitting pause and watching my model right now um, because I want you to solve it before me and then use this to check. So what I'm doing right now is two-thirds were orange. Now four-fifths of the remaining were yellow. How do you even go about solving that? Well, do the strategy I showed you in the last problem. Draw a new block out there and make them the same size because it says four-fifths of the remaining. Well, this part's the remaining, but I want to be able to divide that into five parts. So I'm going to throw up a new one here, four-fifths of the remaining. And let me divide. Let's go. This represents all of the ones that were remaining because two-thirds were orange. So this is like the remaining pencils. And four-fifths of those. So let me divide this into five equal parts, and it's getting pretty smushed here, as you can see. Four-fifths of them were yellow, which means one-fifth were green. Now, that's a very important piece of information, that one-fifth that were green is equal to two, because there were two green pencils, it tells us. And so one-fifth is equal to green. So if this part's green, then what's that whole equal to, so if one-fifth is two, then two, four, six, eight, ten. So that means five-fifths is equal to ten, and five-fifths was this whole part. So if this part is ten, this part is ten, and this part is ten, and then now we have solved for the whole, and the whole, which was the question, is 30 pencils which means there are 20 orange, and there are four fifths, would it be eight um, yellow and two greens, and it checks out. I'm gonna give you one more problem. Reset the board. And this problem reads, Diego saved two sevenths of his paycheck and spent one third of the remaining money. He was then left with sixty dollars. He, or I'll say he then had sixty dollars. What was the original value? So once again, we don't know what the whole is. Um, we know what part is. And the question is to find the whole. So I want you to pause it and go ahead to solve this um, drawing or, um, you know, you can actually make a grid on Math Playground. All right. What you should have done to solve this problem is drawn or, a large block with a question about the whole. We don't know what the whole is. So I'll throw a question mark up there. But we do know he saved two-sevenths of his paycheck. So I'm going to have to divide the whole into seven parts. He only saved two-sevenths, which means that he spent five-sevenths. So this is the two-sevenths that he saved, and all the rest would be what he spent. Now, that two-sevenths, though, Diego saved two sevenths of his paycheck. And, oh, he saved two sevenths of his paycheck and spent one third of the remaining money. So this saved, this two sevenths, went into a bank account or something. But then, of the rest, I'm sorry, that's not how much he spent. He only spent one third of that. So I'm going to throw another block up here because I can't figure out what one third of these five pieces are. But if I throw another block up that's equal, I can draw, I can divide this into one third. 
All right, and I can get an idea here. He then had, okay, he spent one-third of the remaining money. He then had $60. All right, that means these two-thirds right here are equal to 60. So that means each of these parts must be 30. And watch the conclusion I'm going to make here. If he had 60, then each of these parts must be 30, which means that these 5 sevenths is equal to 90. But let's take a look what this 30 is. It's really like one of these blocks plus a half, right? Don't you see that? One block plus a half, is that, that equal to 30? So that means, hmm, so what are you going to do? What was the original? 30, 60, 90. And then we have two blocks left. Well, a block, two of these blocks, one, two, three, four, five is equal to 90. Hmm, this is a tough problem. What do you do to find out what that two sevenths it's going to be over another 30. That means each of these. So that means that you're going to have to make a conclusion here. This is definitely a tough problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sevenths is equal to 30, 60, 90. You have to figure out here what 1 seventh is equal to. So you know that this is equal to $90. 5 sevenths is equal to 90 because it shows it right here. So 5 sevenths equal 90, well, what's 1 seventh? Take that, divide it into 5 equal parts. 90 divided by 5 is going to be, hmm, you might have to try this out. 5 times 10 equals 50. Um, 5 times 20 equals 100. So it must be 5 times 18. And you would have to check that out. 18 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. And that's, oh, yeah. And that's 90. So each of these blocks are worth 18, 18, 18. 18, 18, 18, 18. So it's like 18 times 7. What's the whole? 18 times 7, 8 times 7, 56, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer here is $126. A little bit tricky. I had a mind cramp for a second there. Um, but we figured out what the answer was.